Hello everyone and welcome back to a new video. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how you can vertical stream on Streamlabs. So if you guys want to learn how to do it, just follow the steps that I'm going to show you. As you can see guys, I'm right now in Streamlabs and this is how the homepage looks like. So right here, you're going to find all of your scenes. If you click right here, you can add a new scene. From here, you can edit your scene transitions. And right here, you're going to find all of your sources. If you click on this little plus icon, you can add a new source to your scene. From here, you can toggle selective recording. And lastly, using this option, you can add a group so you can move multiple sources at the same time. And lastly, right here, you're going to find your audio mixer where you can adjust all of your audio settings. So right now, in order to change your resolution on Streamlabs, all you need to do, guys, is go to the settings. In order to do that, just go ahead and click on the gear icon in the bottom left corner. Once you do that, you're going to be right here in the settings. So right here, you're going to find all of the uh, sections. There is the general section, multi-streaming, stream, output, audio, and under it, you're going to find video. Go ahead and click on video. So right here, you're going to find base resolution and also output resolution. So basically, guys, the base resolution is the uh, resolution you see or you preview. So in order to change it, all you need to do, guys, is click right here. And then you can choose from the options right here. Or you can choose custom if you want to add your custom base resolution. You can also change it right here in output resolution. And you can also uh, change your downscale filter right here. You can choose between by linear, by linear by cubic or blank source. Right here, you're gonna find FPS type. You can integer, uh, click on integer FPS value. This is the option that I chose. Or you can choose common FPS values or fractional FPS values. And lastly, right here, you can choose your FPS value. For example, I'm gonna change it to 60 like this. And once you finish, click on done. So this is it guys for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next video.